Okay, Jess and I are ready to uh, build a staircase. Here's our opening here. This is our stairwell. This doorway will lead under the stairs for extra closet and storage. So our stairs are going to start here, go up, hit a landing, go over, come up to the top. Just you put the little dividing wall. It's gonna be I just kind of divide the stairwell up. That wall will get modified later. There's a stair tread there. We'll nail that down. We're gonna run a 4x4 four four up wild on the end. Again, that'll make sense later on. Okay, just nailing a 4x4. Four four. It's running wild up off that wall and again you'll see why later on so we're building a little couple landings here stairs will come up here land another step up turn and going up notice jess is putting glue down under all these stairs he doesn't want it to sound like a haunted house the time he's done here that construction glue is cheap insurance against squeaky floors Stairs up to these landings, up here, onto there. Stairs will turn and come on up. Obviously, we have not framed the top floor on here yet. One of the things I like to do is put the stairs in now. Then I'm not climbing up and down ladders as I'm trying to frame this second story. Okay, so we're ready to put our stair jacks in. Now, obviously, if we slam this stair jack up tight against the framing, the drywall guy is going to hate our guts because there's not going to be any room to get anything down below here. So what we've done, Jesse's cut a 2x4, same shape as the bottom of this stair jack. We're going to sandwich that 2x4 in between the wall and that stair jack to give us an inch and a half gap for right now. That way there's a place for a sheet rock where you can just cut a one angle cut drop everything right down behind that. Okay, so we just put that 2x4. It's going to be flush to the bottom of our stair jack. Guess he's going to throw the stair jack on now. Notice the bot. Notice, put a big old goober of glue down here. Drop there. Double check your height one more time before you nail that, Jess. See how our tread, you can see, dead level. Let's look at the bottom of that. See how that 2x4 is flush there? Now we've created that inch and a half space between the jack and the stud. And here it's from the back side. See again, you can see that 2x4 gap with a stringer attached to it. That 2x4 is nailed, two 16 pennies every stud. And then if I walk around the front here, you notice every 12 inches or so we put a 16 penny in there. Plus the glue, construction adhesive, construction adhesive along the floor where it meets down there. No squeaks, nice and solid. Okay, so I've got my stringers, my stair jacks on either side of this opening going up to the landing. Now you notice I don't have any others at 
uh, 16 inch on center or anything. This is all I'm going to do. And you notice too, I don't have any cleats down here. Believe me, this thing's nailed all the way up there. There's just no way that thing is going to move. And you'll see why we don't need any intermediate, you know, middle or 16 inch on center jacks. I'm showing you all the little tricks I developed over the years here. Hey Jess, put the, the rises and the uh, runs on now. Notice everything is put together with construction adhesive. Here's a side view. You notice our risers are ripped about an approximately 9 degree bevel on the edge so they fit there. But that 2x8 or 2x6, whatever it is, has a riser. And that big old burly LVL plate on there for tread, these things are as solid as can be. You're not going to get any deflection at all, even though these are spanning 44 inches. I was even nailing from behind into those stair jacks. Now you notice I'm not going to put a skirt on this, but I am going to drop drywall right down there. There's three quarters of an inch gap there. That drywall can just, just one angle cut, drop everything in there between there. Again, with that glue and nails, you can't believe how rigid this thing is. Okay, so time to roll up, go home. So we got the first half of the stairs done. Here it comes, six and seven eighths inch rise, 12 inch run. I was gonna do winders here originally. The building plan checker wanted just engineering on them. And I thought, well, I don't wanna have them pay my engineer hundreds of dollars to design that. So anyway, so we'll get these things done next day and then we'll be ready to walk up the stairs instead of climb up ladders when we come through to frame the second floor. Okay, so Jess is putting fire blocking in here now. Code requires that all the drywall underneath the stairs has to be a type X and it needs certain perimeter nailing. So this blocking provides that. It also prevents, if a fire should start below the stairs, prevents it from going up above the stairs. Yeah. It's called fire blocking. That's what Jess is doing here. So let's take a look under the stairs. See what we'd be doing here. So here's underneath our stairs. See, we put a two by four flat. I'm gonna turn around here, get a little shot of this going up. There you are. Again, this is all for drywall um, fastening. While Jesse's doing that fire block, we're gonna take a walk up these finished stairs. Got a landing, another landing. And we're all up to the top. Take a look at our framing up here. So again, these are engineered floor joists. We used to use saw lumber. Rarely do that anymore. These things come any length. So I have a 36 watt foot wide house. I've got a continuous joist going through here. It's pretty handy. One man can shove a 36 footer up here. And uh, we're just about ready for plywood up here. Glue and plywood. All our subfloors put down with adhesive and ring shank nails. Okay, so here's the staircase. Pretty well all done. All the fire blocking in it. Take a quick look at it. Side. See the fire blocks. All the blocking all the way around. 
So you can go underneath the stairs. There's backing everywhere. There's the final thing down there. Blocking everywhere. Now, that post will be eventually cut off for a half rake wall. Maybe down the road if I think of it, I'll get a shot of that. So there's the staircase going on up to the upper story.